The fighting has never been more intense, but despite the weapons, money and men flooding into Syria's proxy war, there is a renewed push for peace. Today, the man who has the seemingly impossible job of ending the conflict sat down with me in Damascus to lay out just what is at stake. I'm an old veteran of wars, 43 years, 19 wars, Afghanistan, Iraq twice, Lebanon in the worst moment, Somalia in the worst moment, Sarajevo, but I've never seen something like in Syria. Because uh, the level of uh, violence and destruction and also of the incredible resilience of the people, that's what they've been keeping us believing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. For those caught in this nightmare, the only hope is the current round of talks in Vienna. What was the mood in that room? It was uh, a mood of sense of urgency. And that sense of urgency was a mood percolating everywhere. Urgency due to new factors and the in military intervention by Russia, the in enormous pressure of the refugees. You would not believe that in seven hours, people who normally would have not talked to each other were able to sit around a table, which was not a big room, and actually talk point by point on agenda. To what end? Well, perhaps more local ceasefires like this one in Barze, Damascus. These buildings are held by the Free Syrian Army. This road is effectively a front line where barely a shot's been fired for 18 months. When you're getting close to the moment when actual negotiations start in earnest, you get often the most delicate and dangerous moments of positioning. If we can avoid that and instead have some ceasefire, that would be a strong signal. And I think everyone agreed on that. But there are increasingly desperate tactics on both sides. Here, rebels have put prisoners in cages to be placed on rooftops to deter airstrikes. You saw the cages yesterday with prisoners used as uh, human shields. You've seen the barrel bombs, what they produce every time. It uh, has been unbelievable. But despite this latest diplomatic push for peace, it's difficult to see how the competing sides in this conflict will ever agree on the future of this man. President Assad embodies this regime. It seems very unlikely that his staunch allies will ever agree to him stepping down. An issue that those in Vienna will have to deal with if the war is ever to end. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Damascus.